Hi, Milo here. Today I want to talk about selection tables in FastKey's Text Expander, one of the most flexible and unique tools in writing automation. Let's say I'm writing an email to the customer with information about our products, and the pop up asks me to fill in the missing pieces. Look at the preview how the fields with the product information get automatically updated. They're all linked to the single product selection. Cool, right? I'll add the quantity too so the total price is properly calculated. And here I have it. What a time saver. Let's see now how to create such a phrase. So first I'll add a manual input field for customer name. We've covered this in depth in our other tutorials. Check those out. I would like to insert the product name here. So I'll go to user input and selection table macro and I'll name it product name. Now, I need to enter my selections into the table. I can simply double click on any field to add the information. The selection tables column on the left is key, as this is going to appear in the selection. I'll add a few names of the products. OK. In the second column, I'll have product codes. I'll quickly type them in. And column three will be the price. I can add another column by right clicking on the header here and select insert column. I could also move the columns left or right and so on. Let's use this column for some additional information. Now the key is to specify the column number, which I want as an output. I want to show the product name, so I'll specify one for the first column. Okay, the placeholder was inserted into the text. Now I'll move the cursor to the product code position and insert the macro again. I just need to set the field name and the output column. This is a column number two. And I'll do the same for other fields. Okay, we have everything set. Let's see how it works. In simple words, I could describe select tables as more advanced selection forms. The difference is here that one selection can control multiple outputs in different places in the text. And bam, all of the fields were retrieved for me automatically. Cool, right? Another example which is used often is a gender selection. Selection of a gender can have the impact on the wording in several places in the phrase, such as he or she, his or hers, and so on. This is how I set it up. Same as before. And it works like this. One simple selection changes my phrase in various places. Such a convenient feature and a real time saver. And a great thing is, the table after it's created is available in any other phrase. Simply select it from the list 
and you're ready to go. Think of other possibilities. You could set one selection to trigger a whole series of scenarios. Please let me know in the comments below about your ideas and let me know if you have any questions. Please give us a like if this tutorial was useful. Also, check fast keys from the links below and play with the other features of this great automation tool. Thanks so much. And if you think I did good voiceover work, check me out at publicdynamics.com to learn about my public speaking coaching so you can excel in speaking as well. Thanks and take care.